Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I wanted to ask you, have you had a hard time getting callbacks on your resume? If you're a pen tester, offensive security professional, or anything in the IT, if you have, watch me today and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through how to get a proper resume and make sure it passes that ATS system. So if you guys are new to the channel, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel and let's keep growing. Let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, folks. So if you guys are on like, let's just go to dice.com or linkedin.com or whatever.com, right? Jobs, whatever. So if we come here for an example and we search pen tester, right? I can spell pen tester and location will be for an example remote because we all like to work remote or whatever wherever so let's uh let's see if I can just do this it's gonna go like that all right what if I just don't just put the USA okay nothing pen tester no if I just put pen tester search jobs that's weird Pen tester. I want to import cybersecurity. Okay. Whatever. I don't know why this pen tester didn't come up. But for an example, if you went to cybersecurity analyst and you submitted your resume for this role, right? For an example, right? This is on site, so this is a want, want, want. Who the hell wants to go on site? especially if you're working as a cybersecurity professional. So you can come down here and look at the job description and there's a few ways to do this. This is just my advice, right? Everyone has their own way and I'm just giving you mine, right? So what you can do is obviously use ChatGPT, definitely use ChatGPT because it helps out tremendously. So take this job description, for an example, take it and throw it into ChatGPT. I don't have, I'm not logged into my ChatGPT account on this VM, so you get the gist there. So I do have a resume, a template resume that we're gonna be working with today. I have it right here, John Doe. I just created it just before this video. And what did I use? ChatGPT. So literally, I made some tweaks, but what is the objective of a resume, right? You, you, who are you, right? Your contact info a little objective of what you want, your skills and experience and education, right? Certifications. So for an example, we're gonna use this one in this video. So your contact information is John Doe. Let's make this a little bigger. The objective here is to obtain a challenge of position as a penetration tester where you can utilize your skills and experience to improve the security posture of your organization or of the organization that you're consulting with, right? So some of the skills that you would put on here, let me make the, I don't know why it looks so small. At least to me, it looks small. But the skills here is penetration testing. Whoa, now it's going mental. Um, vulnerability management, which is, you know, Nessus, Nexpose, Qualys, Rapid7, all that good stuff. Network security, web application security, social engineering, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? This is a pretty good start for your skills if you want to become a penetration tester or an off sec or I wouldn't even say red team and more need penetration testing, right? So as an example, this is a cyber secure as a penetration tester. So this person is conducting network and web application penetration testers for their clients, right? They're identifying and reporting security vulnerabilities with detailed remediation or recommendations for remediation, right? So they're also performing social engineering attacks to assist client security awareness and utilizing tools such as Metasploit, Burp Sweep, and, and Matt for testing. This is just obviously a overview of maybe what John Doe is using doing here. Before he was a penetration tester, this is pretty much, I had tweaked this, security, information security analyst, right? Maybe you were an analyst before you started going into penetration testing because you wanted to learn that blue teaming and understanding the the defensive side prior to getting into the offsec side, right? So we're going to monitor and respond to security incidents, conduct, you know, vulnerability assessments and patch management, uh, develop and implement security policies and procedures, my favorite, 
and provide security awareness training to employees. This is actually a pretty decent resume. You know, your education, bachelor's degree in science and information, secu uh, information technology from state university, blah, blah, blah. This is pretty much, uh, uh, you know, a random thing. Specialized in cybersecurity, relevant coursework, network security, uh, ethical hacking and digital forensics, and some of the security, uh, cybersecurity certifications. I just, you know, this was with ChatGPT. Obviously, I would put in here as well, uh, for example, PMPT, right? We can do PMPT, I don't know, PMPT, if I can spell from TCM, right? Whatever, because I, I, I want to make sure I show them love. Okay, and let's go ahead, I don't know, whatever. Let's just make sure we have a space now. Let's so we'll look, whatever, I don't know. Whatever this thing is doing, I don't know what the hell this thing's doing, because it's, you know, in in uh, Google Sheets now or Google Docs and whatever. But you get the gist, right? So now you can save this. So the next thing I want to showcase is this tool or something that I discovered or my friend Wesley. Awesome guy. Thank you, Wesley, for introducing me to Earn Better, right? So we're going to go ahead and register. You can just go to earnbetter.com and then you can register. I just created a fake or a real email, but an email that I just made Patrick Gorman resume at Gmail. So I want to use that Pastor Patrick Gorman resume at gmail.com, right? So we can get started. And now Patrick Gorman is in, uh, installed, uh, logged in. Now we can upload our resume, which is John Doe, right? So let's open that. So what is the point of doing this? If you're not getting a lot of calls, maybe it's not going through the ATS system, right? So what is the ATS system? It's pretty much the uh, applicant tracking system. So the you submit your resume, you know, through an online portal, job portal, company website, email, etc. And this the ATF the ATS system pretty much parses through all the 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 uh, resume. So say for example you have yours decked out, all pictures, all you know certifications, all that stuff, but the ATS system is not really recognizing it, right? So what you can do is use a tool like this because in the past I had this issue. I made a resume looked all cute and, and fancy inside of Canva. Uh, I had an old one from, you know, back in the days because I don't really have an, an updated resume until recently. And I made it with, with uh, I moved whatever I had in my old Word document into Canva to make it all pretty. And I was exported that to a PDF and I was submitting that and I was getting no calls. My friend Wes told me about this. I made some modifications. I uploaded to this. I re-downloaded it and game changer. Not going to lie, right? So we can just put city, I want to put New York, some whatever, New York, okay, state, I'm just going to put whatever, New York, I don't even know if this is going to work, but let's see, save and continue, okay. So that's uh, one, two, three, so I have to put a real number, I want to put my 718-805-9291. That's actually my number in New York when I was a kid. I don't know how I remember it, but I do. All right, I don't know why it says, whatever. I just made it whatever, right? I'm just gonna put pen tester, right? Or pen, penetration tester, okay? So let's go ahead and hit continue here. And now we have our experience. So what we can do is we can look at what our experiences are from our resume. So it pulled in from our resume. If you've seen, if you remember secure or cyber secure and tech solutions was the companies that I work for, right? That John Doe works for. I'm just gonna leave it as is, that's correct. If you wanna add more, you can add it and rearrange it and all that stuff. So it's really simple. So now let's go ahead and hit save and continue. What is your desired state? work remote. I want to work remote. I don't want to go to an office. I like where I'm at. Okay. We can hit save and continue. What type of work are you looking for? I'm looking for part-time and or full-time or full-time or just part-time. So I'm going to say full-time, right? So now we can hit continue. What is my base set? What do I want to make? I want to make 150,000, right? Per year, 
right? I'm, I'm just throwing a number out there. I think uh, for pen tester, maybe they make 130 to 150, uh, I, I believe. All right. So now it's going to go ahead and do its thing. Now it's writing a ensuring ATS compatibility, right? So that's the main thing. We want to make sure ATS reads our resume. So this is the awesome thing about this. You can use AI generated and it just created this fancy resume for us, right? From everything that we we uh, we put in. So we can edit this. We can say, you know what, uh, CEH, I want to go ahead and put uh, oh, whatever. I'm just going to leave it like that. And the year I completed this was, two th I actually did my CEH in 2000. Let me look. One sec. I think I have it. Uh, I'm going to do my CEH. 2014, so 10 years ago, right? And so here we have the Security Plus, and I did my Security Plus, I think 2000, 2008, I think. Uh, I, th I don't remember now. OSCP 2000, for example, 2018. 2000, whoop, 2018, okay? So now we can come down here and say different skills, right? We can say, okay, ethical hacking, vulnerability management, network security, cryptography, intrusion detection, bash, scripting, blah, 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 right? Sim solutions. And now it's saving up here, as you can see. Now what we can do is see on templates. This is what I really like, because this is looks pretty plain Jane, but it's ATS friendly. Now, if we go to templates, we can make it look a little more fancy. So this is the classic. We can go to bold. We can go to clean look. We can go to modern. Let's see modern. Let's make it look a little blue. Let me. And now it looks a little, you know, a little decked out. If you like that, I actually like that. But uh, I want to bring it over a little bit. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I guess you can see it. I just want to make sure my big head's not in the way. So. Yeah, this is pretty much how you can create it. So now let's go ahead and hit finish up top. And then how do you hear about us? Uh, something else, uh, a friend, right? Whatever, I'll give them credit. So now we can go ahead and X out of here or show me how it works. And then you can go around blah, 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 blah. So let's go ahead and hit next, next. You know, it's just showing you how to use it and all the good stuff, finito, right? So now we can see junior penetration testers for breach lock, we can see in here, and then we can apply. I'm not gonna apply because this is a dummy account, and I don't want John Doe getting, you know. So what you can do is hit documents here, and you can always download this now. Now we can download that, and now it's a PDF, and now we have a beautiful resume that we can save and start uploading to the job boards, right? So this is pretty much what I wanted to showcase today was very quick and simple how to update or upgrade your resume skills. I know I don't really talk too much about that because, you know, I hate resumes. <laughs> I always say, you know, I was saying for years, I don't even have a resume. I just have my LinkedIn and my YouTube and to be quite frank, 100% honesty, the last maybe seven or eight years, I never really needed my resume. It was more of word of mouth of, of, of how I got my positions or who I knew. And that's why I talk about that, right? Networking is super, super important because sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. And uh, yeah, that's my gist on that. But yes, hopefully this really, really helps you out getting your, you know, your updated resume, your resume updated to you know, ATS formatted compatibility so you can get those callbacks. So if you use this process and you start getting successes, please leave it in the comments below. I really want to hear it. Thank you so much. And until next time, have a beautiful day.